I uh, honestly believe blessed to have flown in space two times. Uh, first time was a little over three months between a flight up on a space shuttle, time on the space station, and then down my ride home with Leland on the Atlantis space shuttle. And then about a year and a half later, I flew on the final flight of the space shuttle Discovery. And we went back to the space station, but it was only for two weeks, which um, was amazing, but not long enough. And there's a video, I don't know if I've ever shown you this, there's a video, we're leaving the space station. And the commander, of course, of the shuttle is always the last one to go. And he's at one corner of the hatch and I'm over here. And then all of a sudden in the video, you see me starting to float back like I'm not gonna <laughs> go. And this, he swipes his hand like this, you know, to say, okay, you gotta leave now. Um, so funny. yeah, that was about two weeks on the station there, but. Um, so, yeah. yeah, I flew in 2008 and 2009 on Space Shuttle Atlantis, about a total of 565 hours in space. And my last mission was STS-129, and we had this incredible moment in space where she shared her curry beef with me, because we didn't have that in shuttle food, you know, special but in station food. food, they have a special food. <laughs> so uh, it was incredible, we had a great time and came home. You know, they called me up and said, would you like to be part of this incredible new show, 10-part series, um, eight astronauts, you know, 42 countries, five years of filming, telling stories about what space did for us, but how we bring that back down to the planet to help us see how everything's interconnected, to see how, you know, my, my episode's called Awakening, and I was injured uh, doing spacewalk training, and I lost all my hearing, and my hearing came back. So how this, like, seven pounds of jello between your ears, how it actually works and evolves and functions to help you when you've had problems. And so that's my part in it. And Nicole's got a, what, Storm? Storm is yeah. the episode I'm in. And, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's been about... I don't know, a little over two years since yeah. I was first introduced, you know, and, and, and asked about participating. And, you know, that, pre I mean, when you, what Leland just said, the presentation of that story that they're going to tell, how, why would you not want, want to join in on that? To use, because we feel like, you know, we've had this very special experience of living and working in space, right. seeing Earth from space, seeing kind of this, this beautiful, glowing, colorful, planet, you know, that the only border that you see from space is the, you know, this thin line of the atmosphere that's yeah. around it. You don't see all these other ones we've created for ourselves. And embedded in that whole thing is this place that takes care of us. I mean, we live on a planet as, mm -hmm. as, as Earthlings interconnected this way. And if we can learn, you know, and share through our experiences how amazing Earth is and the strange rock kinds of stories that go along with it, everything from where did it come from to how it creates clean air for us to breathe right. and uh, you know that's pretty I mean, there are some very otherworldly things about our own planet that we don't even know yet and when you can learn about that and be in, reintroduced that way yeah Leland you say you know it's like a love story like yeah, falling I mean, in love with the planet you again. know when I got to space my brain just really went on fire from looking at the Caribbean Ocean I mean I almost need a new definitions of color to describe the the ocean and when I look at this series you look back and you see the planet and this magnificence and there's rivers flowing and the top of the trees in the Amazon that crash into the Andes and the cycle just continues and you see all these systems working together to keep us alive as earthlings and I think one of the things like Nicole said if you love something you will take care of it and if people see these 10 episodes of love of the planet Maybe we'll have no more climate change. Maybe people will start, you know, donating their money to different organizations to help us stop some of these things that are happening in our country right now. So it's a love story about our planet. I am going to tell you about the most incredible place. And you know what? You're walking on it.